Hey Muppet fans, it's Joe from ToughPigs.com. We are here with yet another review. Today we've got the Swedish Chef action figure from Diamond Select. And boom, he's inside the box. Look at that. He's right there. Let's open this thing up. Let's see if he's cool. I'm sure he is because he's a Swedish chef and he's always cool. Well, here we are with the long-awaited Swedish chef action figure from Diamond Select. Uh, as you can see, the box, uh, which I'm sorry is very close to the camera, is a little different than the other boxes from the other Muppet toys, which uh, were, if you remember, there were in those big blister packs. And personally, I was wondering how toy stores were able to display so many of them at once. Um, especially because only a few seem to be able to fit on a shelf or on a rack. Uh, this obviously would fit a lot more, but uh, as you can see, there's no real way other than the pictures on the front and the back to see what's in there. Usually it's, it's like sticking out through the plastic. Um, so they do have a little little door. We're gonna open that door. We're gonna rip the fabric. Just kidding, it's Velcro. And look at there, there he is. Um, it's it's odd, like he's in shadow here, hidden behind this Muppets logo. Um, you would think that he would be a little lower. I don't really need to see the table. Uh, I would rather see his beautiful face. Um, but already I can see there's, there's a chicken in there. I can see some accessories, obviously the table. Hidden back there, can you see there's some vegetables? We're gonna peek in there in a second and find out um, what exactly is in there. So, um, usually, you know, we've had to like speed up this video. I mean, we'll probably still speed it up at some point just while I open the whole thing. But uh, this time, because the box is so simple and also the tape already ripped on mine, so I can slip it out real easily. And we can take a good look at what's inside. So let me just put this on that, and that, and there he is, in all of his glory. There's the Swedish chef. Um, so we're gonna take out all these pieces and we're gonna take a look at everything and see what it comes with. So this may be the portion where we speed it up. Let's find out. I guess you'll know more, but <laughs> you'll know before I do. Ooh. There's a second layer. Oh my gosh, look at all of those things it comes with. Oh my god. It's too bad he doesn't come with like a, like a box to store them all in. Uh, okay, let's start ripping these things out. Okay, so we got the chef out and we got a few other things out. Um, I have not even started taking out all the accessories, but I figured this was a little bit more important. So uh, let's, I guess we'll start with the chef. So we'll move some of these things off to the side. Um, well, that's a good looking action figure. He's pretty expressive considering he has no eyes. The, uh, the head has a good swivel. Looks like you could have him do a lot of things. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good articulation on this guy. Um, and I can already tell, like, he stands really well, which was a problem that I've had with some of the other uh, figures from this line. But, like, he's doing good. Looks like the uh, apron and the chef's hat do not come off, which is fine. <clears throat> the uh, Palisades toy, the uh, the hat came off and uh, was connected with a the, with the, uh, little magnet. And honestly, you know, if I had the option of either um, having no ha or a attached hat uh, or a hat that I could lose, I think I'd rather just have it be like this. Uh, interestingly, I could see that the chef has a wedding ring on, which is a relatively new um, aspect to his personality from the last, or for, to his history, I should say, from the last decade or so. Uh, I guess they're going off the modern version of the chef. Um, I noticed that it also came with two extra hands uh, that are, I guess, clenched like like he's holding something. So I could swap his hands out um, for these hands, which I guess could still hold something. It depends on what you want him to hold. Like, let's see, can he hold this carrot? Yes, he can hold uh, the carrot. So maybe you don't need that <laughs> the other hands for that. I'm not really sure why they did that. Um, maybe should I take the time to swap the hands out? I don't know. 
But look at that. That's how he would hold it if he had this hand and this carrot. Uh, <clears throat> let's put the chef to the side for just a second. Stay, please. And let's look at this chicken. Let's assume this is Camilla. I don't know if this is Camilla or not. Um, it might be. She has zero points of articulation, so she's just a chicken. I assume that one of the pots uh, she'll be able to fit inside. She's um, completely flat on the bottom. Looks like she has one giant foot, um, which means that she stands very well as well, but no, she's not tipping over. That's good. So she's friends with the chef. Uh, I also made a point to take these vegetables out because they're, um, they all have faces, which means that they're official Muppets. So I guess we'll just take them two at a time. Like, they're too tiny for me to do anything with. The uh, There's the carrots. You can see they're very happy carrots, despite the fact that they are about to be eaten. And uh, I guess they can also be held by the chef. So we already established that. Let's look at these tiny tomatoes. Oh my god, these are so small. I assume they're tomatoes. They might be apples with no stems. But there they are. They're tiny, tiny. Like, I really feel like I could swallow these by accident. Like, they're they're about the same, as, same size as a pill. And then we've got these onions, which uh, are crying. I guess they make themselves cry. That's a fun little gag. Look at those cute little onions. They're so sad. Sorry, onions. You're going over here on the table for now. And these are the hands, which is kind of creepy, by the way, that we have these disembodied hands. So, as I mentioned, we also have all these accessories. Um, I guess none of these are held on by twist ties, so they should come out pretty easily. But part of the problem here is they've given me all these accessories and nowhere to put them. We have this table right here, that guy. And uh, I mean, I'm grateful for that and all, but like, am I just going to pile these on top of the table? Am I going to like hide some of these away and then like take them out two at a time for the chef to hold. I don't really know what my plan is gonna be. Um, I guess we'll see. Oh, and then uh, actually I realize we have some more accessories from the other side, but we'll take these out first. So obviously you need to have a tennis racket. Uh, I don't know why the chef always has a tennis racket. Um, I imagine uh, it's a reference to an old uh, uh, Muppet Show sketch. Uh, I think he was hitting meatballs or something, Swedish meatballs. But now, apparently, that has become his, his go-to gadget. I do notice, as I'm pulling out all these things, that I don't know what they are because I don't spend any time in my own kitchen, uh, there is no blunderbuss, his big rifle-looking thing. Um, <clears throat> I think that probably has something to do with the fact that it's a firearm. And they don't want to encourage kids to think guns are cool. Uh, I guess I, I appreciate that. Um, I don't think it really matters that he doesn't have a gun. But <laughs> it's, you know, there's not that many accessories that are very specific to the Swedish chef. And that's that's one I think people expect. So if you're expecting that, then you're going to be really disappointed. Sorry. He does have this meat cleaver, which I guess could do almost as much damage as a gun. Look at that. There we go. Um, and lots of pots. Oh my gosh, look at all these pots. I wish I had I wish I had a kitchen big enough to hold all these things. Oh my god. Oh, geez, that's exhausting. That is a lot of stuff. And again, like, <laughs> we get this tiny little table for all these things. Uh, I also realized, like I said, I've missed a couple of things from the, um, from the first part. They look like coconuts, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get one out. Oh, there. There, in there. I didn't mention before, I was pulling out the uh, the uh, the chef and, and um, the other accessories from this pack, and they're using a new kind of twist tie that seemed really difficult to uh, to get out. Um, I ended up I don't normally use scissors. I like taking my time, uh, and this time I definitely had to use scissors because there was no way I was going to do it on my own. So, yeah, these look like... Are these coconuts? Are these halves of coconuts? Look, are we doing a Monty Python thing? Uh, am I supposed to put something inside of these? I don't know. I'm not really getting any clues here. 
Um, but there you go. I guess I have them now. They're part of this family. So <clears throat> I'm kind of curious myself. Oh, I was going to check too if Camilla can fit in any of these pots. Nope. Uh, kind of. That's the biggest one. She fits in the pan fine. That's not that surprising. Um, so I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with all these things. Maybe they stack. Look at that. That's, that's really boring. All right, so let's see how much stuff we can actually fit. Oops, see, there goes the tomatoes. Uh, how much stuff we can actually fit onto the table. Let's forget the hands for now because I have a feeling the Swedish chef would not keep his hands on the table. So we'll start with the big stuff. All right. And let's see, we're gonna start throwing things inside of other things. And let's see, we'll probably, I would probably stack pans. That seems logical, right? Um, maybe all these utensils can go into one. That can go there, why not? And we'll put the knife there with that and this mallet. How about a rolling pin? Oh my god, I was, I'm, I'm about to be proven wrong. You can fit everything out here. Um, not really sure what the coconut things are, but we're gonna put them right there. Uh, I'll put that on top. The vegetables, we'll, uh, we'll put in the pan like they're about to be cooked. Well, I am completely proven wrong. Everything fits right on the table. I mean, there's not really any room for anything else. So the chef and, yeah, there's no room for the chicken. Chicken goes under the table. Everyone knows that the chicken goes under the table. Well, there you have it. That is the Swedish chef with a chicken and way too many accessories to actually have any fun with. Uh, unless you're a kid and you're going to play with this, which I am not. I'm going to display it. But uh, honestly, I think the chef uh, on his own would be an amazing action figure. I totally think that you should buy this if you're into these, these figures. I think he looks great. He's very uh, accurate to the puppet. I think this is the kind of pu of uh, action figure that you would and should play with. So um, yeah, this is a this is a super recommended buy, the Swedish Chef action figure from Diamond Select. It's in stores now. Go find him, uh, but don't let him into your kitchen. He will burn everything. <laughs> Mork, mork, mork.